Hi everybody. So I know that I said I wasn't coming back till the end of August and it's the end of July, but I have been able to do what I wanted to do um, during the break. Um, it was originally supposed to be a four month break so that I could figure out, um, take a step back and decide if I wanted to keep up with uh, recording on YouTube. And so I worked through that, actually journaled through that, um, starting, actually started May 7th, and I've been journaling through it since then, as you can see, um, and I have come up to a decision finally, and I only had a few pages left in here. And then this is done but I figured um, I could work through the process in my mind and plus write down stuff that helped me make my decision um, and I'm going to post this video on both of my channels on my Terry journals by uh, about faith channel and on uh, the channel uh, the main one Terry Cojetten which is just about journaling and um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the material I have on the Terry Journals About Faith. Um, I'm moving it over to this main channel, the main channel. Um, in fact, I'll probably do that before I post this, so you will probably notice that. Uh, that that's happening and then once I get all if that's what I'm gonna do if I can figure out how to do it if I can't figure out how to do it um, I'm just gonna close down the Terry journals about faith channel completely anyway um, I did come to a decision uh, it took a lot of writing and thinking and reading stuff to help me and prayer to decide what I was gonna do and I actually decided that I would I'm going to stop um, YouTube, doing the YouTube. Um, I considered closing down both of my channels, um, but then, and I thought, well, I could wait till maybe after Labor Day, uh, which is the first weekend of September, and close down um, after that both channels because that would give people a chance to maybe look at or save um, anything that they want to keep um, and then I thought well maybe I should leave it up because I have subscriptions that I like to to look at um, but I'm not really sure but anyway um, I think I when I started this I kind of in my mind I was gonna come back and continue and you guys probably thought I was gonna come back and continue and I actually kind of figured that until probably a month ago and I just realized as I prayed and I searched uh, my own heart and my own motives that I really felt like my motives were not what they should be um, I felt like too much emphasis emphasis with, was put on myself and um, I know it's hard it's hard to it's hard for me to explain so I don't know if, if you can understand where I'm coming from but um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this book I think it's by Greg Small and it's called the five languages of love and it's kind of like um, there's ways where we get um, that speak to us. When people show love to us, um, there's different ways. Um, there's gifts, there's words. I, I can't remember what the other five are. But for me, it's always been words. I don't know if it's because of when I was growing up, how things were, but I never really felt like I got words of affirmation or appreciation or anything like that. So that was something I've always highly valued. And um, when I, I worked in social media um, from 2012 through 16, so like five years in social media. And social media was is a huge outlet 
if you're trying to get attention for yourself. It really is. Um, and so I was so addicted to social media and being out there and drawing attention to myself and I was able finally to see what was going on and I broke free from that in 2016 and that was when I discovered journaling and I started with Bible journaling and then I discovered Traveler's Notebooks and it just spiraled into all kinds of things as you guys know there's this huge huge journaling is a huge thing. I mean, I went from to junk journals and making journals to sell and creative journaling and art journaling and just so many different kinds of journaling that there are. And so that's what I was doing. And and I went kind of back and forth because I could feel that same thing where I was doing it because of the attention and the appreciation and the applause, so to speak, that I got for what I did. And um, so it was it was becoming that again for me and I would try to break away from it and it would become that again and it was just getting to be where I felt like uh, that was not the right reason to be on it the other thing was like social media had become my whole life practically um, during work because I worked in it after work before work, just all the time well I felt like the same thing was happening with the journaling I spent my time before work and after work and wherever I could squeeze it in on weekends journaling stuff uh, and usually recording it because you guys know I was doing a ton of recording and um, and really the motive even though I wanted it to be so that it would like encourage people and help and inspire I felt like it was over my own selfish motives were overtaking that and I, I know myself enough to know that that's something I'm always going to have to fight, that desire that I have. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to take this four months off. And I know some of you don't have the same faith, uh, beliefs that I do. Um, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Um, Jesus is my Savior. And my life, I want to reflect God and I want to be used by Him. Um, many of you know, maybe you don't, I was a missionary for 15 years. And we've been back in the States for 21 years now. But we're very involved in our church and I'm involved even more. And I've always loved writing. And I really felt like the past two years that God has been calling me to write a book to encourage women, a book of faith and encouraging women and sharing with them about God's love just from the things that I've studied and learned. But the problem was I was spending so much time on YouTube recording and doing stuff and more stuff and more stuff, more projects, more new projects, more new things. It was taking up all my time <clears throat> and I didn't have time to give to the things I felt God was calling me to do and so while I took this break I, I've been reading several books um, I'm taking some classes um, with our church uh, for the care team um, and I really have strongly felt like this is the time I'm supposed to write the book so I start just started doing that and um, but anyway so that's kind of where I I was so besides reading the Bible and getting uh, in, you know verses from there that helped me I had a couple other books I was reading this a hundred day devotional um, called embrace by Lisa Turkhurst and this really um, talk to me about choices and decisions and motivations and the same with this one what happens when pe women say yes to God I just started this one and it's all the same thing and it just um, helped me really think through and encouraged me and confirmed that yes it was the right choice and I know the one of the ways I can tell that that YouTube thing had such a hold on me is because every time I would think about not doing it I would just get pangs of anxiety <laughs> because I knew what it meant to me and what I would be having to give up and um, 
now I can say it that I'm gonna do it and I don't feel those pangs like I did so I know I'm moving in the right direction and since I already made the decision I am even though there was still a month to go on the break um, I figured since I already made the decision it was time to announce it and um, tell you guys that this is how it's gonna be um, I do think I will probably um, I either remove the channel or I remove the content so I'm really not sure what to do I might just open a new channel so that I can look at videos or something like subscribe to videos or uh, if you really feel strongly that you would like me to leave the content up I'll combine the two channels into the main Terry Crojatin one and leave it up um, as far as any other social media I'm on I I have linked below my Instagram page so I am on Instagram and I still will post things I work on I'll post pictures and um, I'm also on Facebook um, I'm in the travelers notebook forum and I also have my own channel chickadee journals and I'll link that channel below and that's a Facebook uh, p page for chickadee journals and I share my stuff in there as well um, and I still have my Etsy shop because I'm still gonna make journals to sell now some of you know that I have I have already I've told several of you that I'm making my Daphne's diary inspired journals for you um, I'm still gonna do that 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 has not changed um, I have not worked on it this summer as I had hoped I would so that's why I haven't done them yet because I really needed this time to work through but I think I wrote down who I was doing them for uh, Monica Corinne Sue and Cindy for sure I'm making the Daphne's diary junk journals for you as I said I was and I'm still planning to do it um, I'm still gonna work on my projects, but just not it's not gonna like monopolize my time I'm still gonna make nature journals to sell uh, Maybe some Christmas journals. I don't know uh, and and when I make them and I, I won't be showing them on YouTube But they will show up like if you follow me on Instagram or if you like my chickadee journals page, you'll You'll see them. They'll be there So that's what I've decided um I just feel like this is the right thing. Um, there's this verse in the Bible, <laughs> and it came up when I was reading. It came up in the devotionals, and it says everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything builds up. No one is to seek his own good, but the good of the other person. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. And that's 1 Corinthians 10, 23 through 24 and 31. And that really helped me like, because I'm like, okay, there's nothing wrong with journaling and having a YouTube channel and showing what I do, but I know what it does to me and I know God has a different path for me that he wants me on and I'm gonna be obedient and do that so I do want to say thank you to the many of you who have blessed me with your comments with your encouragement so many of you have sent me happy mail I just thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing that please don't feel like you should send me anything I, I really just value your friendship and that and um, I'm gonna send a few of you like I said the journals but um, and keep doing this but I just want you to know that I really do I really do appreciate you all um, it's been a good three-year journey and and it's just time and I'm ready to move into the new things that God has for me so still part of a journaling community I'm still gonna be like doing stuff because I do really enjoy this creative outlet so I did want to let you know that um, 
And I thought, you know, at the end of this, I've got a couple, I did a couple videos for some happy mail I received. I'll post those at the end of this. Um, one of them, which I absolutely love, was this Traveler's, Camping Traveler's Notebook that Cindy made for me. And um, she is uh, Torn the Page Memories on Facebook and Etsy. And I'm going to take this camping with me on our camping vacation. And I will use this for our camping vacations. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I was kind of happy because I was in Michael's with my daughter and I found these charms, um, a little camper and a mountains and a cactus. So I'm thinking I'm going to slip those on here. Just thought you'd like to see that. And then I thought, well, for old time's sake, uh, maybe I'll just do a little flip through for you. Kinda, I just want to finish up on this note and just do a flip through. Um, a quick flip through for you of the ones I did while I was on break and then that will be the last one so this was me I'm just gonna flip through it um, and I, I'm gonna change my style up a little bit next year you know that I've been getting I, I write on these and then I've been cutting up this uh, Mary Inglebright I think next year I'm just gonna get Mary Inglebright and I'm going to do it in a thicker notebook in A7, and I'm going to just write once. Because right now I'm journaling twice. I write in another notebook, and I write here. So I'm going to combine and just do it in one notebook and see how that goes and how I like it. But I just thought you'd like to see the pictures, and um, it has been a busy summer. I'm just going to say very busy summer. It's been good. We've been camping five times. Um, we're more involved in church and doing. I'm doing some like reading and studies in the class, and so and then we do all kinds of things with with family. Um, shortly after I went on the break, my little hamster Monty passed away, and then later in the summer I got another hamster, white Siberian, and he is a his name is Klaus. So I thought I'd at least mention that. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm going to kind of keep up with the same style of what I always do because I absolutely love journaling this way. I'm just going to change up uh, so I'm not writing twice because there's no reason to um, write things twice. You know, it's just like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit much. But yeah, I... I have enjoyed this journey tremendously and it's not over because I'm going to be doing it still just not doing it publicly on um, Facebook or on YouTube and I'll still be sharing some pictures um, probably not going to share as much as previously because um, I don't know the break has been really good for me, and it helped me take a step back. In fact, all I've done in my craft room this entire break has been uh, just this. Once a week, I get in here, and I already have things journaled, and I put them on the pages. And honestly, besides that, I only do my camping journal. And that's really all I have done the entire time. I did get a whole bunch of Daphne's Diary junk journals ready with the pages and the covers um, so I can make make them, put them together and make them. But that's really all I've done. This is June. I took way back when I first started Traveler's Notebooks. Michael's had um, Traveler's Notebooks and I decorated a bunch of covers and I bought a whole bunch, but they're not enough to do a whole month. So what I've been doing is gluing them together and tape, cut, decorating them and covering them and then I've got two together and I'm actually able to do an entire month. There's my little Klaus. I got him in June, June 2nd and he was only a month old and he has grown and he's very friendly and he never bites which is really nice. <sighs> Seriously. So yeah, it, as you see my style um, pretty much is the same. I haven't changed a lot. I've been using up my washi. I mean, I have my washi that I'm saving for like nature stuff and camping and nature journals, but my other washi, that's all I've got left now. And I'm trying just to use it up. I'm not buying more. 
until I've actually used up this old washi because otherwise it's just ridiculous. Try not to be hoarding of things. I am kind of looking, I'm looking forward to getting back to making journals and I'm making them both to sell and to give away because I do like to, I just, I enjoy doing them. So as you can see, that was June. Okay, that turned off on me just, but I heard it. So I know that it did. I knew that was going to happen. Um, and then this was this month's July and um, pretty basic. Same thing, like nothing changes. I just want to show you. But yeah, I think next year I'll change things up a little bit and um, like I said, please, uh, if you want to see my stuff, I've posted where I'm going to be down in the comments um, while I was clearing, clearing up my phone. So you see I finished last Sunday and now i got this whole week to do and that's just all this stuff and I just have to put it in here. But anyway, so, um, and I've been doing my camping journals as well. Uh, I have to catch up on this, but um, I've been doing those, and those get posted in different places, you know, like on um, Chickadee Journals and Instagram, my Instagram. So while I was waiting for my phone to uh, get set up correctly, I did um, decide that I am going to, I am going to delete, um, my Terry Journals About Faith YouTube channel. I will wait until after Labor Day, which is um, June, June, oh my gosh, can't think. I'm sorry, the first part of September. So after Labor Day, I'm gonna delete that channel. And um, at that time, I'll decide about deleting the this main one, the Terry Kojatin one, <clears throat> that's got a lot of YouTubes on it, and I just have to decide whether I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to delete it as well. So if there's something you want to see, you probably should see it. If there's a way for you to download and keep anything you weren't interested in keeping, um, you probably want to do that. I don't know, um, but I did just want to give you that heads up. And again, I, I, am, I am sorry that... I won't be doing this anymore, the YouTube, but it, as I said at the beginning of the video, I feel like it is the right decision to make. And once again, thank you, thank you everybody for your love, um, just for your encouragement and everything. I, I appreciate it just beyond words how much. I appreciate and how much I've learned from this community. I'm so grateful for all of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, remember where you can find me. I've put those links below to Instagram and the Facebook page and um, my Etsy shop. Eventually I'll be making stuff for it again, just not yet because I've got other stuff I really need to work on first. And um, again, thank you and um, I just wish all the best for all of you. Um, following this, I've got two Happy Mail opening videos that I've attached to the end of this. So um, if you stick around for that, um, enjoy them. And thank you to the two lovely ladies who gave me those gifts as well. And for those who I have promised Daphne's diary journals, you will get them. Please have patience with me. Um, I am working on them. And uh, that's it. God bless. Bye. Hey, everybody. Well, <clears throat> as you know, I have been on break uh, from doing YouTube videos. And today is May 9th, so it's not very far into my break. But yesterday, I discovered that the office had gotten a package for me a week ago. And it was a happy mail from someone. And um, I already had started this break, so I couldn't take the I couldn't do a video and post it. 
and I didn't have another Happy Mail coming. So I decided what I would do is just post record the Happy Mails and uh, number them in order uh, if I get any more besides these two. And then after my YouTube break, I would show them to you so you could see what I got. And this one is from Cindy and she has, um, uh, Turn the Pages Memories on Facebook and Etsy. And she makes um, journals. <clears throat> and I was totally shocked to get this. I wasn't expecting it at all. And it all came in, uh, there was all this camping outdoors washi um, around the around the package. And so I peeled it all off and stuck it on here. And there were notes. Um, so let me try and kind of put the notes with the things that she gave me. And I love this. This is kind of the what she wrapped the journal in. And I don't know what this is, but I really like it. Okay. So first, she gave me this packet of wallpapers, and she said, cleaning up, during a cleanup in my craft closet, I came across the wallpaper samples. I've had them for years, so I guess they are vintage. <laughs> Enjoy. Aren't they, oh, look at, this is beautiful. This is really, oh my goodness, I love that. So pretty, look at this. I mean, really, really beautiful wallpaper. I love that. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. It's just beautiful wallpaper. These would make good um, parts for decorating covers of the junk journals that I make too. <clears throat> then she said, these Project Life cards have been in my stash for some time. Hope you can use or share them too. So there's some bigger ones and then there's some smaller ones. So I can, I have to go through these and some of these I can use on my vacation in September. <laughs> and then she found these doilies at a thrift store and thought of me. And I love these because these are Mex, like somebody did this, I think. I'm pretty sure somebody stitched it. And it's cross stitch and it is, or maybe it's machine done. By the looks of it, it's probably machine done. But isn't it pretty? Viva Me Mexico. And here we have some pretty pottery. And here we have another Viva Mexico. These are so cool. And here we have another beautiful pottery. And then here we have a couple on a burro. Well, Mary, or not Mary, the lady's riding the burro and the man's walking beside her. And then the Project Life cards. And then <clears throat> she made this folder from an old hanging file folder and it has pockets on either side. So, isn't that so majorly cool? Oh, and there are pockets, which I didn't see when I was in here looking at this. But yeah, there's a pocket and a pocket. And then if you go on this side, you have a pocket. That's a shorter one. And then you have a longer pocket right here. It's really cool. And then if you go inside, here she says, these fabric scraps are from a friend. I'm sharing with you, thought you would make cute clusters or maybe a fabric flip. Ah, and they're owls, so yes, so cute. And then some post-its, camping post-its. These are gonna be so great for my camping and journals. This is a little thank you. Um, this fabric, <clears throat> fabric collages are inspired by Diane Hubert on YouTube or Pretty Pink Cottage on Etsy. A little thank you. So aren't these, oh, and here's another like 
post-it thing, but look at these. I've never made these fabric collages, and I've seen them made, but I've never done it. And it's so cool. And they're traveling. So, so cool. Thank you so much, Cindy. And then these are little um, acrylic stamps. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Be a butterfly, a heart. Thanks so very much. Oh, this is so sweet. Petite perks, my acrylics. Thank you so much. Love it. And then this camping journal, Camping Traveler's Notebook, is fabric. And look at the pretty blue button. And it's just beautiful. I love it. I love it. And I, I mean, just look, it, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna use this for all my camping vacations. And we take camping vacations almost every year. So inside this pocket, there's a pocket in here and Lakeside Resort says, and then it has like these camping and things and then inside it's like a little book and it says our vacation and it's so sweet oh my gosh just look at this and this will be so perfect because we're camping in the black hills in september for a week and um this is so perfect oh my gosh so cute and then two notebooks that she has um, <clears throat> used um, and done stuff to to make them into like junk journal. So like there's paper and trim and a cute little pocket and a cute pocket here. And then you have a lot of blank pages, which is great. This is going to be so perfect for my journaling. Um, there's some like campground stuff. This is really cool. This is in the state of New York. And just look at this cool, it's so cool. Like this map and this picture sewn together. And here is a pocket and a little book for like camping, campfire stories, hiking stats. So cool. And look at that. That's a stamp. I love that. Um, yeah, some more just cute trims and stuff. Here's another um, a journaling card, my favorite vacation. And then she made a pocket with fabric. And here's another one. And here is a map of South Dakota, where we're going. Like, what about that, right? Um, tucked in here like this and another pocket and another card <clears throat> so cool more fabric covered pocket and just really cool I just love this here's a hiking activity journaling card in this tuck spot oh my gosh Maybe I'm going to have to use this for all my vacation, all my camping this year. I don't know. I have to figure out what to do. I love it. I just love it. Here's another map. So on to that page. Um, I'm trying to see it. Oh, maybe she, you did make the notebooks, and I just didn't realize it. But anyway, the pocket... And then here's a great outdoors, and there's a poem here about it. Just a cute, this is really cute, this cover on here. And this is a notebook, and it's a really nice one. Oh, and look at the pocket with the torn map and the washi. And then this one has washi, outdoor camping type washi on all the pages, traveling washi. And then there's another map here in the middle. I love this so much. Alaska and Arizona. I've been to Arizona camping and for vacations. And then more of the beautiful washi colored pages. So this is so perfect for camping. I, I love it. 
so beautiful. Cindy, I know you're not even going to get to see this um, showing of this Happy Mail for four months, but I want to record it while it's still fresh in my mind. And then um, I'll just put together all the Happy Mails, uh, any Happy Mail videos that I have throughout the four months and um, show those as one video. So thank you very much, guys. Bye. Hey everybody, today is Mother's Day, May 12th, and I had another Happy Mail I wanted to show you. This came from a friend of mine um, who lives in Turkey, and I cut these stamps off because they're really pretty, so I wanted to keep those, and nice pretty blue ribbon tying the package. And this is cool. I like this painting. I think that. I like that a lot. And all kinds of cute things on this paper that I will, um, stickers I'll save, of course, and use in my journal, like doing the journal. So there's a whole castle of things and cool things in here. So let's see, here are just some pages from some magazines and things, really pretty, different things to use. Here's another one, these are cross stitch designs. And here's some more, so just different things like that. And <clears throat> let's see, let's go down here and some more. And this looks like children's books. And this too. These look like they're all from children's books. They're really cute. And then here are some more printed pieces. And I'll go down here, vintage stickers. Ah, look at those, those are really cool. And on this piece of paper, so I'll later I'll do some of this, put some of these pieces in my journal. Um, and I'm kind of like figuring out where to start. There's so much. Um, here is a little glassine envelope. And let's see what's in here. I'm going to just try and move things and make it a little easier to kind of get in here. So... This is, okay, this is a uh, card to their ceramic shop. So, keep that. And this is a stamp of some sort. So let me see. Uh, hot glue with Tim Holtz collage papers inspired from I am a cool mom so it's kind of a cool stamp huh neat and this is a collage these are Tim Holtz collage papers so she gave me the rest of the paper so that would be a fun thing to try with hot glue never thought of that very cool idea um, this, let's see what this is. Um, once I figure out where the opening is, right there. So here, it looks like beads. Alright, this is 
handmade ceramic beads. Oh, so cool. I love them. <laughs> Oops. I have to remember to find the two I see I dropped a couple on the floor. Okay, well, I will have to dig those out. Uh, here's the opening. Okay, I'll have to get the rest since I managed to do that. This is a fairy checks for your junk journals. Bank of Magic. I promised to make a fairy ring. Very cute. This is super cute. <laughs> All right, let's see. Get a little bit of this washi off. These are really sweet. Very cute. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. I'm going to just peel that off so we can get a look at it. Okay. Uh, peel all those pieces off and that off. These are really cute. Very cute idea, that's for sure. Just put that there. And then here is like a collage piece. This is really pretty. And put that glassine bag over here. These are coffee and tea, I believe. I'll just cut that. There we go. Yeah, tea and coffee. Best coffee and tea in Turkey. Wonderful. Oh, so cool. I will definitely try that. Thank you for that, dear. Um, and then there is this. This is very cute. It's like a little folder. And this, there we go, and the button, and okay, so it makes like a little pocket, but it's really, really cute. What a cute idea. I really like that. Um, and then we have several things, some gorgeous ribbon, and let's see, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Cracked Pistachio. Use this envelope. My inspiration is on your YouTube. Hmm. Oh, isn't that adorable? Just a bunch of little tags and um, really pretty little things. Here's a cupcake wrapper and some kids. Um, Cards. Looks like, um, actually, this is as, uh, like, what do we call it? Trivia. And then, that was very cute. There's this. Look at how pretty this is decorated. Some lace and some words. And paper. And then this is... Just kind of undo it this way, I think. All right. And in here, very cool little envelope. I really like this envelope a lot. This would really work nice if I put this in my nature journal for something. Um, and some Christmas cloth. That's really pretty. Beautiful. That would make a lovely traveler's notebook cover for Christmas. Um, and here is a traveler's notebook insert, which I can always use these things. I love these. 
So thank you. This is really cute. And this um, envelope. So let me figure out where to open it. I think I can open it right here. I just want to be careful not to damage anything that is in here. Make sure I got it. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, my gosh. Look at this ribbon. Some more beautiful ribbon. Okay. Look at that. So pretty. And then some little pieces of, I, I don't know if these are stickers or scrap papers. Okay, they're like border, border papers. So cute. This is a piece of wallpaper. And oh my goodness, so many things. Oh, look at this. I love this. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> Those will make a beautiful cover to a notebook. Beautiful. And look at this cute little um, bookmark tag with little pretty pieces of ephemera. And here's another one with some other pretty pieces of ephemera and one of those glue, um, hot glue seals, stamps. And some pretty tags and just some cute things so cute lots of different little things and stickers here's a cute iron-on applique I love that that's really cute um, here's some more cool botanical stickers and some cut out things from magazines and just all kinds of these are stickers and some more um, more magazine things like here and this is beautiful I love this stuff this is so so cool Marjolaine Bastine of course who I love um, here's a from a vintage book this is really cool. And last but not least, oh, I have these stickers. I have some of these stickers. I love, love them. They are the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so cute. So thank you so much, dear. These are all very lovely. It's a very sweet and lovely happy mail for my dear dear friend in Turkey and um, I just thank you and I really appreciate you um, sending those things to me. Thanks again. Bye.